Well, welcome back. So this week we're uh, not going to be doing much. <laughs> <laughs> so this one we're actually going to be releasing publicly so everyone can see it. Oh. Um, very rarely, but every once in a while we're going to release the shorts. If you want to see a ton more of these, uh, support us on Patreon. The link's going to be somewhere on the screen, also in the description. But the idea is every week we're going to show smaller videos showing some cool stuff. So for those of you who saw the pilot, this is going to be an update to that. So I came up with a newer version of it. It's a little bit more work, but it's so worth it. So it's before you do the, uh, the regular jalapeno poppers, start with a slice of provolone. That was the most... That did not work. Wow. Hold See, <laughs> he was trying to stay straight, but... <laughs> but it just didn't work. <laughs> so get a couple thin slices of provolone. Like this. And this is before you do the cream cheese part on the chicken jalapeno poppers. And then do a couple slices of provolone on there. And then pretty much the exact same thing with the ham. Now this is extremely thin ham. If you have thicker ham, just do one slice. Ooh. You heard me. If you've got thicker meat, the <laughs> <laughs> keep it together, man. <laughs> We're recording, damn it. Well, yeah, just put them in there like that before you uh, pack in the cream cheese wrap and bacon and fry it. And it gives it a more, more uh, sophisticated taste, a little, bit, uh, a little bit of that sharpness and a little bit of that smoothness. And it's sort of kind of like a chicken cordon bleu version of it. We'll just throw the knife everywhere. <laughs> So that was just a quick recipe update. Uh, some of our other weekly videos are going to be a bit more in-depth depending on what, uh, what people ask us on Patreon. 